Good evening and welcome to Soccer Center. This is Jerry Russell and by my side is Luis Fernando Morales. We're going to talk about various events in, in soccer. For example, it's getting to sign for Gerardo Leverkusen and lots of players that swap teams this time for the summer. For example, the transfers of Van Persie, Kevin De Bruyne, Ramel Falcao and Pedro Rodriguez. Well, our priority tonight is the transfer of Bayer to Bayer Leverkusen from Javier Hernandez. And now we are off to Germany with Jose Nieves. Okay, thanks. Yesterday I was with Chicharito Hernandez to talk about his new transfer to Bayer Leverkusen. This is what he said. Okay, Javier, what influenced your choices on changing your team and changing your country? Well, that it was the fact that the team show interest from the beginning of the transfer request. They make me make me feel a valuable player, and I talk with the trainer. Javier, it's a strong team. What are the team expectatives for this session? Well, you said it. It's a strong team. We expect to win the Bundesliga. Also, we expect to. Make a good job in the in the national cups. Okay, Javier. Do you have any personal objectives? Of course. My objectives of this season is my next goal. That is my first object objective. Then help the, my team. Of course, the team is the first in in football. Okay, Javier, you're saying that you are in a bad streak, but you had also had uh, good sessions. What you can say has been your best one? Well, I think that the Real Madrid goals in the Champions League was one of the most important um, in, this, in the world. But all the goals and the best ones. Thank you. Okay, Javier. Is there something else you would like to say to end this interview? Yes, of course. First, I want to give the, the thanks to Bayer Leverkusen to give me this chance in my, in my life. And give the thanks to all my teams that I wear. And also, I want to say to Bayer Leverkusen that I will give the best thanks. Okay, I am Nieves from Soccer Center. Goodbye. Thank you, Pepe. We're back to the studio, and I think Chicharito made the big choice. And swapping teams and going to Germany. I think people say he has German heart because he fights a lot for the ball. What do you think? Oh yeah, he seems to be very, very enthusiastic and determined with his new team. Personally, I have uh, big expectations of uh, in this country. Yes, I think he will score a lot of more goals and I think the Bundesliga is a league that is perfect for this type of player, a perfect a player that fights, a player that never gives up, like Javier Hernandez. So yeah, uh, we hope that he has a good season in this new transfer. Yeah, and another transfer that sounds too much during this market was that one of Arda Turan to Barcelona, because he has to wait uh, six months on, until he can play with the team. And now we are going to, to commercials. So now we are back again at Soccer Center. Jerry, uh, I feel like we have some very interesting uh, match this weekend. Yes, we do. For example, I think one of the very important international matches that we will have is Mexico versus United States, which will decide which one of those teams will go 
to the Confederations Cup the next year. I think it will be a very even match, very exciting to see, and I am hoping to see it this weekend. Okay, so another important match is Real Madrid versus PSG, which will happen on Tuesday at the Champions League. Yeah, and do not forget the match between Barcelona and Granada. It will be a super classic. Um, we wonder what motivates or influence the, to Luis Enrique to give too much opportunity to the young players. I wonder that too, Luis Fernando. His choice in giving opportunity to those young talents is very incredible, quite amazing, and I think he makes a great job by choosing uh, those people that look very good at soccer and like they have a bright future. Now we're going to with Carlos Franco so that he'll analyze this week's top five. Thank you, Gary. Let's see the top five. This is the number five. Okay, it's a pass to David Beckham. David Beckham, take a shot. Whoa, what a goal! <laughs> David Beckham celebrates with a wonderful goal. In this silly repetition, how David Beckham shot. Boom. Again. Number four. There is number four. Let's see this pass. And what the finition that she he did! Oh my god! There is a the goal of the year. Number three. This is Peter Crouch. Oh my god! He that is a wonderful goal! I think that it goes the gear. Let's see, let's see again. Your heart can do anything. There's number two. Okay, let's start the play. Whoa, what a shot! He only put on the angle. Okay, let's start. Oh my god, that is a beautiful goal. This is the most important goal of the weekend. Okay, the defense can do anything for this goal. Oh my god. Yes, this is the best goal of the weekend. Let's see again. Shot. Whoa. There is a wonderful goal. These were the top five. I'm Carlo Fujaco and we are back at Soccer Center. Okay folks, so that's it for the night. This was Soccer Center and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good evening and I please remember this phrase. Unsuccessful people make decisions based on their current situation and successful people make decisions on where they want to be. Walter Bazaar. Please. Thank you.